A New Haven organization that helps build helps AIDS patients for more than a quarter of a century is the target of thieves. Now, recent crimes are making it harder than ever for the AIDS Interfaith Network to provide the much needed services. News 8's Keith Koontz in News 8 Control tonight with more on that organization's recent struggles. Keith? All right, Darren and Dan, thank you. It's been a very tough couple of months for the AIDS Interfaith Network, and those problems came to a head recently with the theft of a number of items. Was right in that center. You see the circle? Yeah, so it, it was right there. It was there right and, here. And they just a frustrated it. Bonnie Copefield showed me the place where a gazebo once stood outside the AIDS Interfaith Network. A couple of weeks ago, the gazebo and two air conditioning condensers like this one were stolen in broad daylight. Anything people needed, that's what my mom broke her neck to give them. And to come back and to do this kind of stuff, it is, it's, I can't explain it. Her mom is 88-year-old Elsie Cofield, the founder of AIDS Interfaith some 26 years ago. Today, she returned to the Thank Chapel so Street facility for the first time in several months and reminisced about the importance of that gazebo. We could have a private meeting with the clients. We could have a prayer meeting. We could just sit and just have lunch or whatever we wanted to do, and that was really wonderful. Since the beginning, AIDS Interfaith has provided services like meals, psychiatric services, and temporary housing for AIDS patients in desperate need. This most recent theft is just the latest in a series of problems for AIDS Interfaith. Last winter, someone broke into the building and stole copper piping, which also resulted in serious flooding. Executive Director Bonnie Cofield has no doubt it was an inside job. It had to be because the police told me it would take hours to take that much copper. So somebody who... Somebody had worked here, had keys, had come in, had to be somebody that knew everything, that knew the layout of the building because it was taken from a place in the third floor that nobody would know. AIDS Interfaith continues to operate, although it can help far fewer clients now than it did in the past. But despite all of the setbacks, Elsie Cofield keeps the faith that better days will come again. It's going to be all right, Mom. Yeah, whatever happens, it's going to be all right. It's going to have to be. AIDS Interfaith is being assisted by sister agencies that are helping some of their former clients. And because their funding comes primarily through grants and private donations, replacing the stolen items has proved to be somewhat of a challenge. Darren, back to you.